believe me or not, you can do this either by yourself using Sego material or any other material of your choice. But for me today, I'm going to use my Sego material. Then I'm going to divide the material into 50 50, that is equal parts to start with. Then place it on my head and start folding out my pleats. So I'm going to make like five pleats on my head right i'm not making it before placing i'm placing it on my head and i'll start making the pleats you can use any of the method either you make the pleats before you place it on your head or you can make the pleats while you place the material on your head which is the method i'm using for today so when i made the pleats i'm going to make sure that they are well aligned straightened up and it's looking nice all right so once i'm done with that step which you can see on my screen presently i'm going to cross at the back right and I'm going to take the excess directly to the front. I'm going to take one part, this is this equal part, and twist it. I'm going to twist one part all through. Then look at the next thing I'm going to do after twisting everything down like this. I'm going to be placing it on the last pleat I made. Then I'm going to tack it down at the sideways. Make sure it is firm and well secured. After then, I have only one part left, which I'll be using to create this beautiful look at the front. So I'm going to fold that part into two equal parts like this and get it well straightened up. Nothing serious. Just make sure you arrange it well. Then dip it under the uh, previous twisted part you already placed on your head and pull the excess out. I hope this is simple enough. Then the flap, I mean the excess you have after pulling out, you're going to fold it into two like this fold it into two and use your hand to divide it at the middle now replace your hand with an elastic band like this you're going to have something like this which is where we're going to achieve this design for today now we're going to fold in before folding it in we're going to pin down these edges like this okay the band must fall at the center then i'm going to pin the edges down like this after pinning the edges down you see how this um, edge at the top i'm going to fold it in and get it secured what I do to write, I repeat it to the other side, which is the left hand side. So I'm done with this side, I'll go to the other side and repeat the same process. Fold it in and give it a pin to get it secured. Okay, this band, if you have the color of your fabric, then you're good to go. But I can't just leave it like this. I need it to cover up that color so that it will not be off color. I'm coming back to that. Now, at the back, I make sure I arrange it neatly and beautifully, okay? You don't want to leave it scattered and rough. It's not nice. So, I'm going to come back to the front and add that to cover the color riot band that I used then. And this is what I have. Hope this is simple enough and you have gained one or two things in this tutorial. If yes, share the video, like, and do follow for more. I love you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.